Hello, my name is Dan Ludeman with Ludeman Productions, and congratulations to you on your purchase of the amazing Zhiyun Crane M2. In this brief video, we will walk you through step-by-step -step on how to set up your new gimbal. We'll cover almost everything you need to know so you can start filming buttery smooth footage like this. To get started, we must first make sure our camera is properly balanced on our gimbal. The Crane M2 can carry a variety of different cameras, action cameras, smartphones, and mirrorless DSLR cameras. Before we start balancing, we need to make sure we attach our quick release plate to our camera. You'll notice that the plate has two slots. The longer slot is for installing larger mirrorless cameras. The shorter slot is for smaller, more compact cameras. If you're planning to use a smartphone, you mount the quick release plate to the included phone holder. Balancing is quick and easy. Loosen the quarter inch screw at the bottom of the quick release plate. Hold the tilt access arm lightly and push the camera to move forward or backward until the camera stays still and floats freely. Once this access is balanced, lock it into place with the thumb screw. We will use the same method to balance the following axis and balance points making micro adjustments so our camera floats freely on our gimbal. If you need a more detailed breakdown of balancing, consult your user's manual included with your purchase. Once you've finished balancing, toggle on the memory lock on the roll access to mark the balanced position for easy and quick balance adjustments for the next time. To unlock the true power of the Crane M2, we will need to connect it to the ZY Play app on our mobile device. This is a free app available for download through your app store of choice. Before connecting, be sure your gimbal is powered on. Power on by holding the power button up for three seconds. Once you've opened the app, click the connect your device button. You will be prompted with a Bluetooth connection window. From there, you can select the Crane M2 and begin pairing. After pairing, you can select your device type, camera or smartphone. If you're using a compact or mirrorless camera, you will be greeted with this interface. In order to connect, be sure that Wi-Fi is enabled on your camera. This is easy to do on most Sony, Panasonic, and GoPro cameras. If you have any trouble along the way, please review your user's manual for detailed instructions. Once connected, you will be able to control photo, start, stop, along with zoom control, all from the grip of your gimbal. Double click the record button to take a photo. Single press will start and stop your recording. If you are planning on using your smartphone on the M2, you will be greeted with this interface. From here, you can select various shooting options in modes such as time lapse, panorama, and tracking mode. These are all amazing features that I encourage you to play around with more. The button layout for the Crane M2 is very convenient and easy to understand. We have the following buttons, zoom slider, the photo and video button, joystick, mode button, power button, menu button, and the front trigger. The Crane M2 has a very bright and easy to read OLED screen. This screen allows you to see which modes you have selected. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connection status, battery level, and various other parameters can be viewed on this screen. If you press the menu button, you can use your joystick to navigate through the following settings. Motor, Wi-Fi, History, Joystick, and About. You can adjust your motor strength depending on which camera you are using. For smaller action cams, use the low setting. For Sony RX series cameras and smartphones, use the medium setting. For mirrorless cameras, use the high setting. Wi-Fi allows you to see what networks you are connected to. Every time you connect a camera, it is saved here in your history. The M2 can save up to five previously connected cameras. This means that once you connect a camera through the app, the gimbal will remember that camera, allowing for an automatic connection the next time you power on your camera and gimbal. Joystick allows you to reverse the vertical and horizontal axis. About tells you what firmware you are currently running. 
Before we start filming, let's learn a bit more about the seven various shooting modes with the Crane M2. Each shooting mode can be changed by clicking either the front trigger button or the M button on the face of the gimbal. The first mode is PF mode, or Pan Follow mode. Pan Follow mode allows you to move your gimbal to either the right or left, while keeping your tilt axis locked off. This mode is great for getting really low shots, or shots of a subject walking. The next mode is L mode, or lock mode. In this mode, your gimbal will remain locked off in one direction. This mode is great if you are trying to stay locked off perfectly, but don't want to deviate off course. The next mode is POV mode, or point of view mode. This mode works great if you're trying to give the viewer a more human-like perspective. Next up, we have F mode, or follow mode. This mode can be accessed by clicking the front trigger one time. This is very similar to PF mode, except now we have the ability to tilt up and down. I find this mode really helpful when I'm getting real estate or general B-roll. While in other modes, you can quickly access follow mode by holding down the front trigger. When you release the trigger, you will go back to your previous mode and the gimbal will remain locked off on the position you last left it. This allows for quick gimbal adjustments on the fly. To reset your position at any time, simply press the trigger twice. Up next is Go Mode. To access this mode, simply click the M button twice. This mode allows you to make quick, fluid movements. This is great for capturing sports or if you need to follow some quick moving action. It works really great for filming my kids, actually. Another fun mode is V Mode or Vortex Mode. This mode can be selected by clicking the M button two more times while in Go Mode. This mode allows you to get amazing barrel roll shots. This is a really cool mode, great for getting those creative and dreamlike shots. The last mode is selfie mode. This mode can be activated by clicking the front trigger three times. This mode works great for vlogging or if you need to snap the perfect selfie. To charge and update the firmware on the gimbal, use the USB-C cable included with your purchase. The M2 also has a quarter inch thread allowing you to attach accessories such as a magic arm or phone clamp. Packaging and setup is quick and easy. Before you remove your camera or smartphone, be sure to tighten your memory lock. This will allow you for a quicker setup and balance the next time you use your camera. Fold the tilt axis in line with the roll axis. Press down until the small locking pin engages. When secure, tighten the thumb screws. This is a really great addition, allowing for quick and convenient travel on the go. Be sure to lock the latch button before packaging. You'll also want to loosen all your thumb screws before you pack everything up. When storing, be sure to remove all accessories. This includes the quick release plate and the tripod. The M2 and the corresponding accessory should fit snugly into the box. The Crane M2's small and compact size makes this the ultimate gimbal for travel. Anyways, that should be everything you need to know to get up and running with your Zhiyun Crane M2. On behalf of me and the Zhiyun team, thank you so very much for watching. Go have fun.